Psalm 89, 34, it says, No, I will not break my covenant. I will not take back a single word I said. I love that. So when God says you're a new creation, he ain't taking it back. When he says you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, he ain't taking that back. When he says he causes you to always triumph, he's not taking that back. When he says you're the head and not the tail, he ain't taking it back. When he says you're always above and never beneath, he's not taking that back. You say, well, what if I find myself beneath? Just know that ain't, that's not the Lord. Pastor Sheila's talking about confession. What you, I, I've, I've gotten back in the habit of this just recently. Looking in the mirror, reminding myself I'm a new creation, reminding myself that I'm renewed, reminding myself that I'm the righteousness of God. After 20-some years, I'm back to it, still doing it. Why? Because the world pulls on you. The enemy pulls on your mind, and you have to renew your mind to what God said. But here's a big part of it, Psalm 89, 34. I, no, I will not break my covenant. I will not take back a single word I said. As your sins are from the east to the west and thrown in the sea of forgetfulness, I will not take that back. I will not remember your sins. When you've accepted Christ, they're gone. So here's the easy thing. Really, it's a simple thing. I don't know about easy, but simple. When the enemy reminds you of your sin, just throw him out. Amen. It's, not, it's not God. God's not reminding you of your sin. Amen. He forgot them. He don't even know them. He's like, oh, wait a minute. What are you saying? God's forgetful? No, he made a decision to forget them. Big difference. He won't remember them. Past, present, and future. He's done with that. He nailed that to the cross. And when you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it was a done deal.